Hey, hi everyone. Welcome to Learn with Renu channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain how to clear this uh, subject to test for the lambda test for the selenium for a test engine. Uh, like framework will be the same, uh, but we need to change according to the te test cases. Okay. And uh, let's go into the video. Actually, uh, we I have already code uh, in my uh, workspace. I will explain you this code. First, actually, we need to log into this uh, Lambda test. And then uh, by logging into this Lambda test, first of all, when you go through this uh, web automation and uh, here uh, we cannot see anything for the, for the first time for the user, but I uh, have already have this uh, build run from the workspace. I've already run a demo Selenium one. Uh, I will show you. I will explain the code in some time. Uh, okay, let's go into the code. I think code is visible to you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here we have uh, two packages, uh, com.selenium and utils. Uh, have, in utils, I have written the base class, base test class. And com.selenium, I have written uh, uh, two set scenarios. Uh, I have took the example from the uh, subject to assessment, which, which uh, the two test scenarios which they have given. Uh, uh, let me explain you in that time after explaining this base test okay and uh, here i have written the base test in the utils and and also have written the uh, src test uh, resource in this config config properties uh, to hide our credentials like username and auth key uh, in base test uh, we have like uh, this line is uh, related to this uh, browser control remote web driver control uh, we need to run this thing in their cloud environment so that we have used this thing and we know actually web driver weight and private property properties equals to property actually this line declares the initial initialize a property object like uh, this is the visibility for only for this particular uh, class and what is property is nothing but like uh, it's a java utility class uh, from the java.utils package and it is used to read write configure data in the form of key value pairs uh, usually uh, it will take from the config dot property and if we see this uh, load dot uh, public string uh, uh, get property uh, this is the purpose to fetch the associated with the given key from uh, key from the property object and uh, visibility you can know this uh, we can access from the outside the class also and parameters have given as a string as a key and the uh, name of the property you give it, it will retrieve and it will return as a string or uh, null if key is not found it will throw as uh, exception uh, fail to load config dot file okay and let's go to the uh, setup like setup method and uh, here in setup uh, i have given this uh, string uh, like i have passed the parameters browsers version and <clears throat> url and method uh, if if you see uh, this uh, loader property i'm calling from and i have used a string username and author, uh, which i have stored in the uh, Conflict of property. I'm uh, just calling from here. Uh, get pro uh, get property, and I'm connecting with the lambda test uh, hub. Okay, and I have used uh, desired capability. Capability is called uh, which which uh, they have given us uh, to configure. Like we can also use uh, uh, capabilities which they have given. Let me show you that thing. I will open capabilities generator. This generator, you can see here uh they have given this according to the language if you select the language of node.js or anything or python uh since we are using java i have used java uh framework i have used as uh, java test and we cannot we can use uh different framework also but here i have used as i have not used this thing but i am just showing uh as a java uh selected as java by default uh to selenium version you can use any chrome version uh that will be generated according to the uh, selector in the drop down all these things it will be generated and you can copy and you can paste it 
and that uh, even that it will work if you use instead of these things but i have just mapped this thing uh, with a different version name network here i have used extra like name is called method at get name uh, every test cases will be having different uh, methods right i have just uh, run this uh, i'll just call this uh, get name so that uh, when we run the test cases from the command line or like uh, we can run the test initial it will get it uh, from the that method name for example uh, let's see here uh test scenario two let's let's, let's consider this thing uh, it will take from like a, a checkbox that method will be uh, get it from the here and this you know like uh, uh every person know like how to write this uh x bar ids all these things it is a simple code like you can write this thing i just given this thing and if you go through uh these uh utils it will find difficulties like writing the base it is uh finding difficulty I just used web driver, remote web driver. I just called uh, from the browser controller, uh, which is have given that and URL and username and auth key and cobalt is have given a spam tag. and get URL web driver wait for every 20 seconds. I have given <clears throat> if you see here, uh, let me comment this thing and. I will remove. I will remove. Try it. Just remove this thing. Driver dot quit. I will try it. Then you will know the difference. I have used the only these thing. Okay. Now. I will try to run this thing. Uh, let, me, let me change the building now. Um, run one, okay. Okay, now I will run this. Uh, click on it, it will run automatically. Otherwise, we can run from the command itself. I will show you next time, like when we try to uh, run this test cases from the command line. Uh, yeah, let me run this thing. See here, it's already running. Uh, we can see the results in the uh, suit <coughs> test engine. Mm -hmm. Let me go to the console. So, yeah, I got run. If you see here, uh, go to the automation. You can see it is running. This build is currently running. If you open this thing, uh, it is showing us whether it is passed or not passed, or it is failed. We don't know whether it got skipped. Uh, we don't know like but it will show like 100% uh, it's completed but we don't know uh, whether it is passed or failed so what i have uh, have changed the code like i have used uh, this let me open this code is mm -hmm. so that it will give whether it is passed or failed uh, like if it gets null then it will be good like something i will we do this code Okay, I have undo, and now I will run one more thing. Change the name, run to okay, run to. Um, it got passed, but we don't know whether it got passed in the browser or not uh, in the uh, Lambda test browser um, browser or not. Like this is the cloud we need to run right. <clears throat> So let me run through the command now. Yes. Okay, let's run from here itself. Let's show you whether it is passed or failed. It, it will, if it is get failed, it will show in red color. Like it will pass, then it will show in uh, green color. So I'll show you that thing. Uh, if you click on the barrier, so you can see run to do the thing and it is running currently it is running under <coughs> one browser and this is running under other browser yeah i forgot to tell you like i have used a palette of text uh palette of xml i have gone through all the suit like a uh, i need me put it see i have used one test in other browser i used other test in other browser 
like I have used one test in Chrome and another, another test in Firefox. Uh, I just given the parameter in class and that's it. And it will run on, it will run parallelly on two different browsers. Yeah, it got passed, you can see. Uh, that is the difference between earlier uh, case and now. Uh, if you go through earlier case, like you don't know like whether it got passed or not. But now, uh, if you see, it, it got passed. And these are different. Okay. Uh, if you want to run from the command line, I will just give you the command like, uh, yeah, well, I need to go to this expected path. I need terminal. Okay. Let me go into terminal. Select this local terminal. Okay. Here we will the terminal. And it present in the let me redirect to this particular it will start mm. CD selenium is the this project folder where we have code. Yeah. Okay. Now I will run the code like MVN. What is MVN? Show you. Giving the MVN test, these test cases will be running. So it will run. Yes. And let's wait for the test cases to be run. Generate the test ID. You can see this particular thing. You go through here. See, since I have not changed that build name, it run in the same way. And for the each test case, uh, we have unique test ID. If we copy this test ID, I'll show you here. Let me open this thing and just comment it like. And see, this is a test ID like got given got generator for each test case it will be generated like you can see test has got run in the test run for there are no failures no error no skipped if you see here got run yeah that's it uh, i will upload this code in github uh it will be helpful for you to pass the uh, subject to test for the uh, lambda so that you can get good marks like uh above the 70 percent and will be passed and, and uh, Next video, I will try to uh, upload the video related to the Git actions on the Git push or pull request. Uh, push or pull request like the this case. Uh, this test case is need to be run. Uh, that's uh, that thing I will be uploading. Okay. Uh, if you like, if you like this video, please subscribe and like the video. Thank you.